Hello, in this video, I'm going to go over the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate. A lot of people have been asking me about it, so I decided to actually go through it to give you my thoughts and opinions about the certificate. I'll be going over the pros and the cons, who this cybersecurity certificate is for, whether or not I think it's worth it, what skills you're going to learn, if it will get you a job and stay to the end of the video and I'll be going over step by step on how you can put this on your resume to make you irresistible to the hiring manager. Also, this video is sponsored by Coursera, but I don't want that to let you deter you. I've only really ever accepted sponsorship from Coursera because I really fully believe in what they are doing. Let's just get started. Do I think the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate is worth it? And the answer is yes. I've been both through this certificate, I've been through brick and mortar courses, I've been through online courses, and this is pretty comparable to a, I would say, college course and what you're going to learn. It does have hands-on labs, it has theory, it has reading, and if you put into the effort, you're gonna get the same education as you would if say you took a course at your college. And if you break it down even more, a college class in America is going to cost you, if you include room, board, and interest, and the time you spend not working, about $3,300 per course. And at a community college, it's going to be around $340 per course, plus the time you spend going to a community college, which is completely insane to me. The Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate, in my opinion, is a great deal, especially if you have no idea what you want to do. Who is the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate for? It's basically if you're not really sure what you want to do and you're testing out different careers. They have like data analytics one, they have IT support ones, they have project management ones and Python ones that can let you test out different careers to see which one you like best. For instance, I have zero desire to do data analytics, even though I went through the course and did all of the exams and the assignments, and I realized that is not for me. But I did gain a lot of useful insights from going through it. So you can't really lose from going through these, and you'll have a more awareness of different certificates. It's also if you want to become, work in GRC or if you want to work in like a security operations center, working as like a SOC analyst tier one. I think it covers those jobs pretty well. If you want to be like an ethical hacker, this certification might not be for you, but it might be a good primer on how everything operates within the cybersecurity field, like vulnerability management and all of that. So what are some skills that you're going to gain? Coursera, this course is really well laid out using evidence-based learning techniques. So it goes into reading, it has lab, it has quizzes to make sure that you're paying attention. So you're going to understand cybersecurity and security posture and how it plays into with the organization. You're gonna learn SOC basics such as detection engineering and what Siracata is and responding to alerts and you're going to gain hands-on experience with SQL, Linux, and Python. They have labs that go through these. You're gonna learn the basics of network security, and you're also gonna understand how to protect network devices from unauthorized access. So it does give you a really good broad understanding, and I would say it prepares you really well for the CompTIA Security Plus. So it might be one of the best courses that has hands-on labs to prepare for the Security Plus. So what are some job titles that the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate may prepare you for? The first one is going to be a GRC analyst. You are going to be exposed to GRC concepts such as audits and compliance and different rules and regulations. You're gonna be exposed to documentation and how to do proper documentation at a job, which is really valuable for anyone who works in security as half of your job is going to be documentation. Also, you're gonna understand the concepts of like gap analysis and things of that sort. Do I think it's going to be enough to go from zero to landing that job? That you may have to do more hands-on experience for the niche that you want to get into. But if you aren't really sure the niche you want to get into, this is the perfect exam. And then from there, choose a niche and then focus on that one niche and create 
projects around that one niche and kind of brand yourself as someone who does that because it makes you a target for recruiters and hiring managers. Also getting a job, it has also, but we are still in a really good job market. So it may be fairly easier for you to do that. What were my favorite things about the Google cybersecurity professional certificate? The first one is of course the production value. They have such good production value and they also show a diverse group of people. Also, they do have hands on labs with Linux, Python, and SQL. So you do get a structured introduction to these different things. And actually some of the labs, like the Linux labs, I've had interview questions where they asked me about the Linux operating system and they definitely did cover it in that lab. So like, how do you copy? Like it would be CP. So you actually do those in the labs. It also is super good at condensing a large amount of information into a really digestible way. I think a lot of people get overwhelmed with just by how much there is of information of what to study and they're like super confused. But this gives you a pathway to go from not knowing anything about cybersecurity to knowing something about cybersecurity if it's the right career for you. What are some cons to the Google cybersecurity professional certificate that I saw? The number one thing is it was extremely broad. It didn't go into depth into any one topic, but it just familiarized you with the topic, which is great. But from each topic, you may have to dig a little bit deeper to understand it enough to be able to go and get a job in it. For instance, I believe they covered the CISP domains, but that the CISP is extremely broad and is more for managerial. So it also depends on what your goals are. If you want to become technical, I would say it might not be enough. If you want to go into say marketing and do cybersecurity marketing stuff, it might be enough to convince an employer to hire you, which is really all that matters. And if you want to go to GRC, you may have to niche down a little bit into certain laws and regulations and learn a little bit more about them. Yeah. But other than that, it's a super good primer on what exactly you should be focusing on. And if you go through all of the exams, you go through the assignments and you really dig deep into each one and don't just hurry up through the certificate so you can get a certificate. Uh, it really is just a fantastic course on showing you cybersecurity in organizations and how to strengthen security posture. Does the Google cybersecurity professional certificate replace a degree? And I would say, no, it doesn't replace a degree because a degree, there's a huge difference. One takes two to four years and the other one takes three to six months. There is that time in doing it and how easy it is to get. So how do you frame the Google cybersecurity professional certificate on your resume? So your resume is super important because it is the first, the first impression that a hiring manager has about you. If you ask any recruiter, even if you're on LinkedIn, they're going to ask you for your resume and then they're going to forward that resume, not your LinkedIn profile to a hiring manager where they're going to look for reasons not to hire you. So you're going to want to make sure that your resume is key. So if we look on how I displayed this for the profile and the education, you're going to put it at the top if you don't have any experience. Now, if you have experience, and I know a lot of you probably have 10 and 15 years in other different fields, you may not want to put it right at the top, but you may want to highlight your experience and how it's related to the position that you're being hired to. But we see the profile I put recently completed the Google cybersecurity professional certificate and you went through this course material. And then for the education, I also put that if you don't have any other type of education or degrees and certifications, you can definitely put this on your resume. But you want to be careful following different templates because you may be underselling yourself a lot and you may be placed into a lower type of role because of your resume. Your resume is that important. It really does decide where you're going to end up. Make sure to have a really good strategy behind your resume and not just focus on less compliant words and things of that sort. So overall, the Google cybersecurity professional certification, I really think it's worth it. I am a Coursera fangirl. And if you're interested in going after that certificate, 
I suggest you do it now. And there is a link below in the description. Now, why do I say you need to do it now? Because it is a prime opportunity and the cybersecurity industry is going to 10 X within probably the next 10 years. And what's going to happen is the market is going to be flooded with people who want to upskill into cybersecurity. You're going to want to do it now while there's still a lot less competition in. Again, that link is below in the description that you can get started for free today with the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certification. Also, if you're interested, I do have a free cybersecurity project list that goes through different projects you can do for different niches within the field. So if you're interested in that, it will also be below in the link to help you with the Google cybersecurity professional certification. And I will see you in the next video. See you.